So I am using cotton yarn for this in the colors parchment and French lilac. These are from Hobby Lobby. I just started with a granny square pattern that I've used a few times. It's Victorian something. I'll put it in here. But you can use whatever square you want. So I just did that up. And then after I finished the pattern itself, I did a couple rows in different colors. And then I decided to add a little scalloped edge, make it look a little frilly and girly. So for that, I did a double stitch and I would skip one, go into the next, do a double stitch like normal. There's one. And I would do six, uh, five more, six total, into that same one, six skip one and then go into the next and do a slip stitch just a very small a small little scalloped edge that i did all the way around so there's the square pattern nothing too complicated you can do whatever pattern you want and then we set that aside and now we're going to do the body of the bear I started with a magic circle, did six stitches. I did switch to a 3.75 millimeter hook for this one. I like to do smaller sized hooks than called for when I'm doing anything that's gonna be stuffed. So there's the first row with six stitches. And then I did the second row, like I was going to do a flat circle, but I did not do the last one, which gives it kind of that flat edge there second one so the first row has six stitches the second row has 11 and then we're going to start with another magic circle another six stitches for the head itself one two three I think I did four rows total of increasing each row which brought me to 24 stitches so row one two three and four I increased six stitches each row Row five, I did not increase. Row six, I did increase six. Row seven, I did not. Row eight, I did increase six stitches. And then rows nine, 10, 11, and 12 were no change. I just stitched around. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And this is where I paused and put the face together. So I just used the tails and sewed the ears on with the flatter edge on the body, of course. And then I took some of the purple and stitched a quick little face on there. And then I made a bow. I made a chain of 20 stitches, worked it in the round, two rows, like that. I cut off a bit of a longer tail and then I just wrapped that really tight around to make it look like a bow. And then I used the beginning tail and the ending tail and just wove those there. Yeah. Put them through the head and use that to tie the bow on. It's not a perfect bow, but it's still cute. So after that, I did stuff the head, and then I decreased six stitches each row until I was down to 12 stitches, and then I just closed it up. I then sewed the head onto the body, and then all we have left are the arms. I did another magic circle of six stitches, did a second row, which increased it to 12, Make sure to stop and secure your first tail, and then just do 10 rows around, no change, and that will give you a little arm, and then stitch those on. And there's the other one. And then all that's left is to weave in the threads. 
I'm really proud of how this one came out. I can't wait to give it to her. It is cotton, so it's absorbent and it's washable and I think she'll love it.